Today we're going to be looking at some RGB DDR4 memory from a company called Zadak. If you've not heard of them before, you've probably heard of their parent company called Apesa. On the front of the box it says Zadak, which is the manufacturer's name, and MOBA, which is the actual model. It says RGB DDR4. You can sort of see the memory on there. It doesn't pop out brilliantly, but you can see the RGB effects on the top, and it does look quite unique compared to some. On the back of the box, there's a paragraph in English, the rest is multilingual. It does have some RGB certifications on there, as well as model specifications like the name of it, how many colours, and then you've got the full specifications of that sticker memory you've got at the bottom right. Inside the box, you've got two sticks of RAM, obviously, depending on the version you buy. If you're obviously buying the one with single stick, you'll only get one, and it comes in plastic packaging, otherwise no documentation or anything else. The RAM itself has got a very industrial or mechanical look to it, which is quite unique and nice. You've also got these diffusers at the top where the RGB is. As you can see, the RGB effect you'll see a bit there, a bit there, a lot in the middle, and again a few little bits on the end, and there's sort of gaps between it, so it gives it a little bit of a different look than you would probably get normally when it usually just covers the whole of the top. I'm guessing the RGB may seep through a little bit though, through these little bits cut out here where the heatsink pushes together. Again, it is an aluminium heatsink. The other side is exactly the same. It's got a sticker on. You could potentially move that, remove that if you wanted to, but again, you probably void a warranty if you do. So we've got the memory set up. You can just about see it here in the corner of the screen, and we're currently testing it using Eurosoft's PC Check UEFI. If you're not sure what that is, it's basically a professional testing program. What a lot of computer repair shops, system integrators, like the ones what actually build your computers and so forth used to test computer hardware rather than using the free stuff online which can be a big bit buggy and to be honest with you doesn't always give you accurate results but going on to the actual memory itself we put it in it picks up the XMP profile 2.0 straight away so it's running at 3600 megahertz we've tried a little bit of overclocking on it we we're able to get it up to 3800 with ease so you could potentially get it up a little bit higher as well if you did a little bit more fine tuning to it maybe 4000 megahertz if you're lucky but otherwise, as you can see, it's testing here. We're going to be testing it for 48 hours. First of all, we'll do a quick test, which takes roughly around about 20 minutes. And then we do a full test, which takes 48 hours. And if there's any issues with those, we'll mention them in the conclusion. So in conclusion, we've got some really good, reliable, fast RGB memory. It's got a stylish design. It's got a nice view for the RGB. It's got those little gaps in between, so it looks quite unique. We're able to overclock it, didn't have any issues, passed our 48 hours stress test. What else can you ask for in RAM? It does everything it should do. We, so we highly recommend this product. I hope you enjoyed that review. I know I did. If you'd like to see other Pacer products we've reviewed, then click this box up here. Or you could click this box here and see other memory products we have reviewed. Otherwise, we will see you next time. But don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below.